In the beginning, we had the OG Pinterest, cave walls, where our prehistoric ancestors expressed their inner Picasso, mostly drawing buffaloes. Then came the Romans, creating empires, aqueducts, and the coolest uniform ever. The Middle Ages. Where chivalry was alive, dragons were questionable, and rubber chickens were the ultimate weapon. Fast forward to the 60s. We landed on the moon and of course had to show off our dance moves. And here we are now, with all of human history at our fingertips, and we use it to watch cat videos. Accessing all the public information has never been easier. From learning to code to how to hotwire a car, you can find everything online. But AI chatbots have made things even easier for us. By simply asking a question, our AI friends will tell us the ultimate answer. Running such a bot on your local computer is even better, as you are not sharing anything with any of the evil mega corporations out there. There's no limit now, or there is one. You need to own a powerful GPU. But what if I told you that you can choose what resources to use when deploying a large language model on your PC? It can be your GPU or CPU. In this clip, let's see how we deploy a very capable large language model as a chatbot locally on our personal computers. We are going to use Text Generation Web UI as our interface for the chatbot. We will spend a bit of time installing this and forcing it to use our CPU instead of our GPU. For those of you flexing that you have a GPU, I will upload everything you need to know in a GitHub gist. First things first, we need a Git client for our demo. I assume you already have it installed and know some basic commands, but if you don't, typing download git on Google should bring you the most relevant download page for git as the first result. After installing it, go to a folder where you want to download text generation web UI too. Now, let's navigate to the newly created folder. Now it's time to run some Python commands, but first, you need to have Conda installed. Conda is a software that enables you to create virtual Python environments. With it, you don't have to install a specific Python version, you can use a command and you will spin up an environment where the desired version is being used. To download and install Conda, type download Conda on Google and go to the first result. The installation is straightforward enough that it doesn't need to be covered in this video. Moving on, we now need to go to the repositories page and fetch the one-click installation kits that are referenced in the readme file. I will download the Windows 1 as I am using a Windows machine for this demonstration. I will move the downloaded archive to the folder where I want text generation to be installed, extract its contents, navigate to the contents, and using a terminal, I will run the start script. The start script will take care of everything for us. It will clone the repository and install the Python dependencies. You will be asked during the installation process what your GPU is. Make sure to select any option that suits your needs. For CPU only, select the last option. After it finishes the installation, we will be able to navigate to localhost and port 7860 and open text generation web UI. Great, now it's time to explore what large language model we want to use. For this, we are going to use Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a huge repository for AI models. From models that can detect diseases based on pictures to large language models, you can find anything here. Just go to Hugging Face and click on the Models tab. Here you can see LLMs like Falcon or the new Llama 2 model from Meta. You can choose anything you want from here, but to keep things simple for this video, I am going with the Wizard Coder model. I am going to provide a link to it in the description of this video. We are going to simply click to copy the name of this model, switch to the text generation UI, navigate to model and paste the name we copied in this field here to download it. Click download and wait a few minutes, maybe grab yourself a cup of coffee until the model will finish its installation. Now that it finished, click on this refresh icon over here and you now should be able to find it in this dropdown. Select this model and click on the CPU checkbox that is displayed on the panel below the model chooser. Note that the model used is transformers. We cannot choose something else like Xlama, because this would require a GPU. We can also play a bit with the parameters. Let's set the max token somewhere around 2800, 
in order to allow a larger response. Let's also set the temperature to the minimum so we prevent the model from producing creative content, or in other words, lies. Going back, let's load the model by clicking this load button. Be aware that it will take a while to load it. I will fast forward the video so you don't have to wait for the last part. After it gets loaded, we go to the chat and let's type anything here. And as we can see, we get a response back from the model. Explore a bit with the CPU version yourself. Since the model is a dedicated code assistant, you can use it to perform coding related tasks. Instead of paying for a closed large language model, you can use an open source one just on your computer. We've reached the end of this video. Click to subscribe and like the video to help my channel. See you in the next one.